Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. Today on Positively Kelly, I'm starting with a video that is going viral in China, highlighting a golden retriever who has been called a hero for getting help to its owner. All right, the Chinese emergency crew um, got a call that a man had collapsed in a small alleyway in northern China. He was collecting bottles when he fell unconscious. Now, local residents alerted emergency services, and when they arrived on the scene, they noticed a somewhat nervous golden retriever positioning itself in front of the emergency vehicle, trying to apparently lead them down the alleyways to his owner. Dash Cam caught this footage of the dog looking back to make sure they were following and speeding up when he felt confident they were right behind. Led him right to his owner. Now the man is in the hospital and he is recovering. And I love this story. I love any story about animals and how they demonstrate their loyalty to us as humans. But I also love hearing about humans rescuing and showing our love to animals, as in this next case. Now this is Cassie. She arrived at the Humane Society of Greater Dayton on August 9th, 2017. That was a long time ago. Now, she's been adopted a few times, but was always returned. And we don't know why Cassie was brought back. But nevertheless, it never worked out for her. So she was there 525 days. She waited for the perfect family to be adopted into. And just recently, Cassie was adopted, and it stuck. The staff has been overjoyed for the pup and for Cassie's new family. Another great ending. I love that. Now, this next story has people talking and also has people painting people. It all started with an innocent post from a Reddit user who wanted to show off a picture that his mom had painted. He says, my mom painted this, and, and he commented, she thinks no one will like it. This is her second painting ever. Well, that started a chain reaction, and by the way, people did like it. They liked it a lot. This is a painting of the first artist painting a picture of a mom and her painting. Check that out. That is so cool. Now, next, here is a girl that painted the guy that painted the mom that painted her painting. Right? All right. It keeps going. This is a painting of the guy that painted the girl that painted the guy that painted the mom and her painting. This should be a kid's story, right? On and on it goes where it stops. Nobody knows. But almost a dozen people have now uh, taken mom's original inspiration and added to it. Uh, what a lift, though, for mom. She must feel inspired and on cloud nine. Look at this guy. He's like, I'm confused. There's so many people on board here. I'm confused. But I think we'll be seeing some of mom's work, some more work soon, because she's empowered. And that's what I want to talk to you about. The whole, this whole story brings me to my next point. The original artist mom didn't think her painting was very good. She did her best, though, in that moment. And it might not have been the best swan that was ever painted. But it had character, and it was an original, just like her and just like all of us. Sometimes we think our best is not good enough. But if you have, and I want you to see this, this saying, all right, sometimes we think it's not good enough. But if you've given it your full attention and effort, then it is good enough. While we can't deliver someone else's best, we can and should always deliver our own. Whatever that is in that particular moment. Now, don't short circuit yourself and your creativity by competing with other people. You need to just challenge yourself to be the best version of you possible. Now, there's nothing wrong with wanting to improve. I believe in trying every day to be a better version of me. And but get off your own back. Don't give yourself a hard time. Nobody needs that. And learn to accept where you are in this moment. If you want to change something. And start the process. Everything takes time, but there's no better feeling than to know that you have begun. Jared, come on in here. What do you think about that? Which story of those? I know you like the dog story. I do like the dog stories, um, just because I love the animals. But I was jealous of all the paintings of the people. I really liked that. Wasn't that cool? That I would have even thought of that first guy who did it, to painted, you know. He painted a picture, picture of, of the guy holding the woman. Right. You know, like the other guy. Just I just thought that was genius. Isn't it? And every single one of them was perfect. I mean, the. And I love the different takes they did on it as well. Like the different. That last guy, he had more of a cartoony look to it. He did. Creative people everywhere. I love it. I know. And I think it's because it kind of got out of control. Everybody was doing so much. It's like, it's gone crazy. Let's just cartoon this yes, thing. And I we love might it. keep an eye on this because you never know how much more of this you're going to see. I love it. Yeah. So much. And I love your last one because my motto, like you said, mm -hmm. never stop learning. Oh. I think that's part of your. Like, what if you fly? You fly. Knowledge is power. And Absolutely. I love that. So every day you try to be a better version of yourself. Right. 
I try to learn something every day because I, right. I just love learning. And you taught me something this morning. And I oh, I did. I totally it's forgot about that. You know what I love, I love learning. That is yeah. something I do like to read. I like to read books. I like to. Um, Learn something new. Like, that was one of my um, New Year's resolutions this year. First yes. of all, I, I want to dance. Mm -hmm. um, I, dance uh, yes, I want to dance. Dance like no one's watching. That's right. And, Jeremy, I think you and I should work up a dance number. Yes. Because we, we talked to Lyra about choreographing yes. it. I, I love that. Um, I love that. So, yes, mine was to forgive people with the honest heart. And, of course, learning is my everyday honest, resolution. Uh, absolutely. And I haven't written everything down. I had a whole list of things. Yes. <laughs> so, anyway. All right.